the BOP. As the name suggests, its main function is to prevent blowout situations. However, as wells are drilled at increasingly deeper waters, it becomes a very real danger that an influx may pass the BOP and continue up the riser before being detected. Let's rewind to see how this potentially disastrous scenario can occur. When drilling close to a high pressure zone, it is critical to be aware of a number of subtle hints from the well. The first of these hints can be detected when performing a new stand connection. When stopping the well circulation, a drop in ECD can be an inevitable consequence. Being this close to the high pressure zone, overbalance can be very low at the bottom of the well. The small drop in ECD is therefore enough to cause a small influx. When circulation stops, the mud will gradually settle in the tanks of the mud system. As the overflow gradually gathers in the active pit, it can be challenging to monitor volumes and detect the small influx. When the connection is complete, circulation recommences. The small influx absorbed in the mud is brought towards the surface. When exposed to atmospheric pressure in the shaker room, the gas is finally released from the mud. This causes gas readings to increase. However, the increase may be very subtle. In this case, the values are still within the driller set points. And the driller is not alerted; he remains unaware of the dangerous situation below him. As the drill bit enters the permeable high-pressure formation, a drilling break occurs. ROP increases. Shortly after, the MWD tool fails. Drilling cannot continue until the tool has been replaced. Following routine. A flow check is then performed to prepare for tripping out. Because of the continuous circulation, the ECD is kept high enough to maintain overbalance. As a result, mud volumes remain constant, and the flow check reports no abnormalities. Time is of the essence, and tripping out starts. As the well is already very close to underbalance. It's extremely difficult to keep the ECD above pore pressure while tripping out. Shortly after, a swab occurs. The driller detects the swab as a small deviance in the trip tank volume. Tripping is then stopped, followed by a new flow check. However, the influx is now held down by a settled mud column and is not affected by the circulation. So again, no abnormalities are reported, so tripping is continued. After replacing the MWD tool, the drill string is run back down the hole. The mud is circulated again as the driller prepares to continue drilling. Finally, the gas influx contained in the mud is pumped up. As it comes gradually closer to the surface, the pressure in the mud decreases. Enabling the gas to expand little by little. However, most of the gas is still in liquid state, embedded in the oil-based mud. Due to the deep waters, the weight of the mud in the riser above the BOP is still enough to keep the influx compressed, and so the influx passes the BOP still undetected. After passing the BOP. The weight of the mud eventually becomes too low. The pressure is no longer enough to keep the influx compressed. As the state changes from liquid to gas, it expands explosively to 600 times its original volume. But now it's already too late. The BOP, being the last barrier, has been passed, and the incident that follows is inevitable.